welcome to The Long View with me, John Jordan. Today we're doing a first time user experience video, so playing a game for the very first time. You can see it is MapleStory Blitz. Uh, MapleStory's massive uh, RPG in uh, Korea. Um, and MapleStory Blitz is the a mobile version or a mobile game set in that world. So first thing we see is push notification prompt. Um, we don't want to see this here, really. We want this to be better integrated into the tutorial, so I'm always saying that. So this game is currently um, in soft launch, so it's available in the Australian App Store. Or at least, so I got this version from the Australian App Store. Okay, so let's enter a name up to 26 characters, that's a reasonable spread. Sometimes see uh, Asian games only allow 10, particularly Japanese games seem to be do that just because of a different type of uh, alphabet. Start the tutorial, okay, let's do that. Okay, so first of three simple exercises. Gonna summon monsters and uh, tower health points. When they reach zero, we lose. So we're looking like we've got a three lane MOBA here. So we've got uh, lots of mana counters going up. A mana charge at the top left. Okay. And okay, uh, yeah, that shows how much mana we need to use the card. I can use the card. Okay, it looks like the orange mushrooms go. Select the orange mushroom card. Yes, very fast. Tap there. Off he goes. Oh, I see. Okay. So, what's he going to do? He's going to attack that. Please wait a moment. Why is that? <laughs> okay, now I can use uh, the enemy summon a monster that defeated our monster. Oh dear, it looks like a snail. Um, so, uh, what's that one do? Let's use a hero skill. Okay. So, we'll just tap on that one. Oh, that wasn't a very big. It wasn't a very big explosion, was it? Okay. Um, so we're going to summon monsters that slow. Uh, let's put the golem down. Um, probably do some more something. Red serpent. Oh, that one. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, a skill card. Okay. Again, so these effects are not very uh, impressive, are they? But anyway, um, let's try a few of these, get some attacks going down. I mean, see, it's a bit hard to see at the top of the very top of the right hand side of the screen, the training scarecrows HP is going down from 500 originally. Wow. Okay, so we won because he didn't summon any more monsters. Victory. Okay, so on to the second exercise. So, what's going on here? Um, I'm going to shuffle the deck. Okay, sounds fair. Every 15 seconds we can reshuffle. Got an enemy snail coming towards us. Oh, two, okay, so let's do our ranged skill. Which one's that then? The, um, okay, rolling moonsault. Select it. Okay, deal, deals 25 damage and stuns. Drag it, okay. Oh, no, oh dear. That didn't work. Okay, let's try again. Okay. There we go. Cool. Uh, So let's summon our friend, the orange mushroom. Put him in. Now what can we do? Uh, oh. Yeah, he's going to get trounced by that golem. Okay, use the elven grace card to make my ally monster stronger. Oh, okay. That's cool. So off he goes. I can probably do this. 
can do this. Uh, what else we got? Um, oh, a meerkat. What's that going to do? Very fast. And maybe I should buff him as well. And my stone golem. Is he coming? Let's go and defend ourselves there. What does the aerial barrage do? There we go. Uh, let's start pixie. Oh, we did it already. Okay, so that was easy. The old meerkat, meerkat did the business. I don't know who level one Mercedes is. I guess that's, is that me? <clears throat> Utilize a monster's ability. Mm. Oh, there's Mercedes, okay. Oh, okay. Mushroom attack. What will I do? Shuffle? Why do I have to shuffle? That's a bit odd. Um, select the Spirit of Rock card. <laughs> when someone deals 12 damage to all monsters. Cool, okay. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> There he is. Mm. Um, what have we got? Have we got anything else? We can do that. Buff our card there. Um, what's updraft do? Exchanges a target ally monster. Okay, that's all we'll do. That will do. Defeats all monsters. Okay, Gollum's coming. Um, what does this one do? Okay, let's drop him in. There. Wow, he's a chunky chap. Um, oh dear, that's not going well. Let's take a Gollum, maybe. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Um, oh, what she do? Ranged. So you can see this is kind of looking quite complicated about all the different characters that I've got and all the different things they can do. Decrease, defeats all monsters, cost increases by one every time a player uses it, you only use it six, six times. Hmm. Okay, well, interesting basics. I think, I have to say, a nice first time user experience, kind of good tutorial. Um, graphically looks very nice. Um, you can see the blitz element, it's going to be quite quick games, I think. Um, okay, now it's going to be complex. I'm going to get complex when it comes to the decks. Um, so I'm not going to have all those characters uh, that I got in the tutorial <laughs> to start off with. Okay. Make a new deck. Select a hero. Okay. Oh, well. That's quite complicated about the uh, different ones you can add. Uh, common cards which can be used by all heroes and hero cards which can only be used by certain heroes. Yeah, I'm gonna with the auto feature. <laughs> I think that's gonna be the way to start to begin with, isn't it? Tapping a highlighted card. If you want to remove it, tap yeah, it's okay. Go ahead and click complete. Okay, so you're gonna have different decks depending on different heroes. I guess that's what they were saying. <clears throat> Obviously, monetization is gonna come through um, deck. Uh, selection and opening packs and that kind of stuff that makes sense uh, we can see different game modes um, obviously a lot of stuff is um, blocked off so there's a quick match a monster park virtual arena there's one here where we need five heroes in a dungeon so I, mean, I guess that's typically what we expect from this kind of game kind of campaign modes and PvP modes and then maybe special event type modes so um, 
And I've only got one here, haven't I? It's odd, why am I doing all this again? <clears throat> okay, I can choose who I'm fighting against. Choose the battleground. Okay, ready to go. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to be the usual putting my uh, mushroom. What's this one do? I don't know what that does. Axe stump. Let's try him. I guess the thing is, at the moment, I'm not quite sure which ones are. Uh, uh, Kind of uh, characters and which ones are kind of skills. Obviously, you have multiple um, ones down multiple lanes. Um, so let's keep pushing them down. I guess there's a weird thing. There was that card that killed all the monsters in the in the game, there wasn't it? That would be a bit odd. So just zapped that little mushroom. So if you look down the ones here, so they're backed up, so my mushroom can't actually attack the enemy temple because he's blocked off by the, um, whatever that is, the tree stump. Let's put, um, what does this one do? Um, let's, oh, no, so the snail's come in there. So let's try the desert giant. Let's stick him in there. Um, and let's give him some grace. Uh, that one's gone, so um, let's drop my own snail down that other lane, that far left-hand lane. That big lumbering guy, desert giant. <laughs> Very slow. Oh, and now I've got a stump coming towards me. So we could do... Um, what's this one do? Oh no, one already. Okay. I have to say, I'm not a massive fan of kind of MOBAs, but this is, you know, it looks really nice. Um, obviously... I don't understand what's going on with it in terms of all the complexity, but um, I'm sure it gets hard quickly, especially when you PvP. But um, it looks, yeah, this is something that kind of interests me to play more. I'll have a gift, good. Open my quest with that first. Up there. Challenge, I did a challenge, got a reward, so typical kind of um, reward system. I've prepared various training exercises for you in the challenge tab, so this is kind of extended tutorial, really, um, if you do these you get the rewards you need. Okay, good. So there we go. Um, okay, going to my daily rewards. That's obviously standard. Um, what's going on here? Just telling us. Okay, just yeah, notices. So what was that? What's this new one here? Oh, these are saying they're new challenges. Okay. I have to say the UI is nice, actually. Sometimes, I have to say, Korean uh, mobile games can be a little bit um, all over the place with their user, ex uh, their user interface. This is pretty clean. Um, quite nice here, obviously just selecting different things, I haven't got any friends yet. There's the store, uh, okay. Um, so this is just saying the heroes, there's her, so that's Mercedes Queen of the Elves, so that's why we're getting, okay, we've seen the, that was the swift jewel shot she, that we were using to damage enemies. And the main card she has for hero skills, so now the main cards. As that's where we're getting the elvish. I don't know. We're getting the elvish grace from that. I don't know. Plenty to learn. Anyway, so that was Maple. This is Maple Story uh, Blitz. Say currently in soft launch in um, Australia. Um, yeah, good. I think it's good first time user experience. If I was downloading this and didn't know much about the game, which I don't really know much about the Maple. I've not really played any Maple Story games before, um, but this is quite attractive I think, um, you enjoy the first experience, you get some idea of the complexity of what's going on in it I've had a few issues with uh, with uh, the game um, hanging and having to restart it but as we say it is uh, not finished it's not global release yet so it's perhaps not a great surprise. So yeah so, so good job to uh, Nexon Korea who are the publishers. Thanks for watching the video, we do a lot of this uh, first time user experience to see how free to play mobile games um, are Working out, working on their tutorials, how they're getting people into the game, people excited about the game, getting them coming back over days and weeks, maybe months and years. Um, so don't forget to subscribe if you're in, into free-to-play mobile games. We do a lot of these um, videos of games that are still in soft launch, so games that aren't out yet, so you might get an idea of what's coming up. Um, 
but also we do when we find games that we like to do a lot of videos um, a bit more in depth about some of the systems in the game so um, plenty of videos to watch if you subscribe but thanks for watching this one and hope to see you again soon